<laughs> we live in a society, we have a lot of contact with each other, family members, health workers, police officers, we're all constantly coming into contact with each other. As we reduce the risk of infection to a drug user, for example, uh, there's, there are benefits that accrue to the rest of us. Homeless health care now has become an integrated drug treatment program that services the homeless population of Los Angeles. We usually have somebody here that will stand here and count the used syringes. And then there's a sharp container down here. Catches them. The city of Los Angeles' needle exchange program aims for a one-to-one -one exchange. The goal is if you bring 10 needles in, you'll work out with 10 clean needles. Our needle exchange sites are very comprehensive. We not only provide clean needles, they also provide HIV or and or hepatitis C testing. And, uh, anything else we can do for you today? Do you guys ever refer people to drug programs? We first have to get them into a detox, then we can put them into treatment. And do you guys also have medical kind of facilities here? This is the medical room here. The whole thing is centered around health care. The HIV prevention, the wound care services, there are so many people that come through here that cannot access traditional health care. There are different kinds of needle exchange sites. Some of them are in drug treatment centers, others are based out of clinics, some are outdoors like ours. our services with other services like housing services or drug treatment detox programs legal help medical help the first time I heard about it was on the radio and as a policeman and a law enforcement kind of guy my first reaction was oh heck no this is a bad idea you're just encouraging people to use drugs you're making it easier for drug addicts to maintain their addiction over the years and as I talked to the folks in the needle exchange and as I talked to our officers I think I've come to realize that the needle exchange programs are actually helpful in preventing AIDS preventing HIV preventing hepatitis and I hopefully preventing officers from getting needle sticks themselves the, the first time I heard about needle exchanges was in about 1993-94. These are folks, and one lady in particular, who really was doing great work ahead of her time. We confiscated her stuff. We cited her. That all gave rise to essentially an opportunity, a crisis. Needle exchange was an obvious and natural response to the HIV epidemic, and hep C as well. If you want to stop someone from transmitting HIV or hep C through a needle, you give them a clean needle. The LAPD policy regarding needle exchanges is that we don't stake out on needle exchanges with the idea of arresting drug users. We don't arrest people or impound needles. If we get a call at a needle exchange, our department policy is that we call a supervisor. But we also don't consider that a needle exchange in the area around it is a, uh, a drug enforcement free zone. I enjoy talking to him. I'm glad to meet him face to face. I always like to hear from horse's mouth. I have the utmost respect for him and what he's trying to do. The needle exchange is there to provide a service. And uh, if someone has a clean needle there, or if they go there to exchange a dirty needle, you just use common sense and let them do that. I'm sorry, 242, Crime in downtown Los Angeles is at a lowest point that has been in our lifetimes. I can't attribute it all to a needle exchange program, certainly, but I think it's a piece of the puzzle. I think the needle exchange program is an important component of our crime fighting and our quality of life improving programs. And we haven't seen increased um, crime or, or drug use just because the needle exchange comes up. However, a police department can anticipate that where a needle exchange comes in, there may be an opposition to the location of the needle exchange there. This exchange location was developed in collaboration with the local law enforcement. They, in fact, suggested this was a good location based on their experience in the neighborhood. It's a controversial subject. Community members are going to come down on different sites. 
my recommendation to police departments would be get a supervisor involved, handle it intelligently, not in a nature way. Public health is a public safety matter. When a needle exchange comes into a neighborhood, it provides a safe, safe place for people to dispose of needles. If you don't have a needle exchange, then you're more likely to see needles in your park, on your sidewalks, and on your streets. If you look at the police business as maintaining a society free of crime and disorder, I think a needle exchange program is actually helping us do that. Helping us keep this environment cleaner down here, fewer diseases. I think it's helping us keep our officers safer. We're here to just provide health services to help the community, and that's our sole mission and not to, to interfere with law enforcement or try and control how they do their job. We would like to work with them, not against them. It's good to know that it, that's here for the people. It's good to know. Now I know they're doing more than just handing needles out here. Give me your needle. Here's a clean one. That makes me feel a little better. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Can I get a hook for the yeah, that. No. <laughs> Bye. He's not there to judge, you know. He's just here to help. Say he is saving lives in his own way, and I'm saving his mind, and I, I can live with that. To avoid needle sticks, officers can take some simple precautions. Know your department's protocol and follow it. Get vaccinated against tetanus and hepatitis B. When you're in the field, take your time doing searches. Ask suspects about needles and other sharps that they may have. Don't stick your hands where you can't see. If an injury occurs, notify your supervisor immediately. Clean the affected area thoroughly. Get to medical treatment within two hours and no later than three days after you've been potentially exposed. Needle exchange programs help reduce the spread of bloodborne pathogens such as HIV and hepatitis C by substantially reducing the sharing of needles. Needle exchange programs make cops, health workers, and children and their families in the community safer by getting dirty needles off the street.